Nolajud here in Foley, Alabama at Hattie Soul Foods. Let's go check it out. Welcome to Nolajud. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our beach travel vlog, we enjoy southern style soul food with a burger at Hattie Soul Food Restaurant on the Gulf Coast in Foley, Alabama. The southern soul food restaurant is very popular in the area for their southern food. Hattie Soul Food Restaurant is located in Foley, Alabama at 15397A Alabama 59, which is about 2 hours and 42 minutes and 180 miles away from the New Orleans French Quarter. Join us for a beach food travel adventure as we explore this beach style soul food with a cheeseburger. And if you're looking for an old school southern restaurant experience, this might be a place for you to investigate. So this is my first visit to this restaurant and navigation didn't get me exactly here. I was first taken to a uh, rather adult themed business that's uh, right down the street from it. So drive past that place and you'll get here. So let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. So we have some specials with appetizers, fried green tomatoes, drink specials, hot tua soup, gumbo. Then we have our sides of carrot souffle, cucumber salad, squash casserole, sauteed vegetables, cornbread dressing. Then we have bean of the day and red beans and rice. Sweets are red velvet cake, blue velvet cake. We also have a chocolate cake, a coconut cake, a cookie butter cake, a peach cobbler, a strawberry cake, a sweet potato pie, cream brulee, peach cobbler ice cream, vanilla caramel ice cream, peach cobbler bushwhacker, and bushwhacker mudslide. So when you walk inside, you see there's one big giant dining room and there we are coming in from the entrance right there. And then they've got two main sides. So they have a bar over here with lots of dining tables on this one side. And then the kitchen is right there behind the bar. And then over on this side, we've got more dining tables. And of course, the always popular dessert selection right here. So they've got a nice selection of items in here so you can kind of look and see what they have before you make your choice. Do note they want you to ask your server about getting a slice of any of these desserts though. But let's go ahead and check out this menu now. So we have appetizers with chicken wings, eight, 12, or 20, fried wings tossed in the flavor of your choice, plain buffalo barbecue, mango, or jalapeno, Basket of bread, six, your choice of fresh baked rolls or sweet cornbread. Next, we have beverages with Coca-Cola products, tea and coffee, and lemonade. Then we have our entree served with two sides and cornbread, southern ribeye, fried chicken, two-piece leg and thigh, grilled chicken breast, Salisbury steak, Kathy's grounded up beef and gravy, smothered boneless pork chops, meatloaf. Next, we have burgers and sandwiches with one side, Hattie's Burger, grilled chicken sandwich, fried shrimp po' boy, fried catfish po' boy. Then we have seafood with fried catfish, shrimp basket, and gumbo, cup or bowl. Next, we have sides with mashed potatoes, white rice, beans of the day, bacon fried cabbage, fried okra, candied yams, collard greens, french fries, baked mac and cheese. Then we have salads with a house salad, a chicken or a shrimp salad. Then we have desserts with cream brulee, cake of the day, homemade pie, and homemade ice cream. So I decided to go with a cheeseburger and for sides I got the sweet potatoes and the carrot casserole. I've actually never seen carrot casserole outside of New Orleans before so I'm really interested to see how it is. Now this burger looks pretty nice thick and juicy here. So let's give it a bite and see how everything is. So yes there's some nice juicy flavors on this burger and structural integrity is holding up very nicely. I ordered my burger medium and they actually got it cooked to the nice medium temperature. And each and every bite is full of some beefy delicious goodness. There's lots of great flavors in this burger and structural integrity is excellent, especially considering how thick this burger is. And it does have quite a substantial amount of toppings on it with uh, all of the lettuce and tomato and uh, delicious little items all over here that are giving it lots of flavor boost. Even the onions are doing a good job of staying in. Sometimes those fresh onions like to get slippery and slide on out and pop out all over the place. They've got these onions perfectly trained to stay inside the burger, so that's always a great thing. 
Oh wow, this burger's going down very quickly, easily, and effortlessly. Each and every bite's got plenty of flavor. It's a good mix of the bun and the meat. It looks like we've got perfect meat bun ratio here all the way to the end. So wow, there we go. A delicious juicy burger with perfect structural integrity. Now to get those nasty marshmallows off my sweet potatoes here. And okay, excellent sweet potatoes. Would have been better without those nasty marshmallows. This is the uh, carrot casserole. Would uh, be better to me if it didn't have the little sprinkling of powdered sugar. Uh, it is what it is. It's actually, even with the powdered sugar, it's not quite as sweet as the ones I've had in New Orleans, though. So this is uh, certainly a different kind of texture and flavor than what I've had previously with carrot souffle. The uh, sweet potatoes are AKA yams, are perfectly delicious and nice. The carrot souffle is, uh, all right, it's not as uh, good of a version as the one that I've had at Zara's Grocery in New Orleans. I think that might be my favorite carrot souffle I've had anywhere so far. So if you like a carrot souffle, check out Zara's Grocery. Ooh -hoo -hoo. And uh, I'm getting kind of sad here because we're down to the last bite of my sweet potatoes. Yeah, I'm here and now. We're also at the last bite of this carrot souffle, so we really destroyed this plate of food fast. So now, just like I've totally destroyed all of this food, go ahead and totally destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about all this food. While you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account as I do work for tips, and I appreciate any help with that. So the bill arrived, and the total before tip was $22.24. So, thanks so much to everybody at Hattie Soul Food for one of those really fantastic burgers that had great structural integrity and great flavor. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Nolagent channel, especially to my Patreons. Now, if you would so kindly go ahead and share this video with any of your friends and contacts that would enjoy it, as it really would help me with that YouTube algorithm. And if you would also go ahead and look in the little description box under this video where I have a bunch of Amazon links to various cookbooks, even if you don't buy one of those cookbooks, but you buy something else you're going to buy anyway, it doesn't cost you anything else extra. But I do get a little tiny commission out of that for many products that you can buy on Amazon. And that really would help this channel. And then tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. And just as a little hint and preview of what's ahead, I unexpectedly got to spend a little extra time down on the Gulf Coast of Alabama and Florida. So I will have some more content coming from Orange Beach, Gulf Shores, Foley, and Pensacola, Florida coming up. Nolagen here, and thanks so much for watching. And just go ahead and destroy this video right here to keep up with the fun.